welcome back so this is a continuation to my earlier video where I show I have shown you how to create a cluster in Hadoop so we, we have already uh, created a single node cluster in Hadoop and uh, we have seen that it is accessible through a web interface so in this current uh, video I am gonna tell you how to you know access that HDFS how to access that file system how to uh, upload files to that system how to download a file to the, that file system how to create a folder how to uh, delete a folder or how to see the contents on that file system okay so let's go ahead and try to do the same so this is my file system as you can see this is a single node cluster and we have one node and one name node and one data node okay so uh, today this is a fresh file system okay so it is completely unused okay so let's just uh, you know uh, just try to access the file system and its uh, other features okay so uh, so uh, just to see whether there are any files or folders in the file system you have to do uh, Hadoop first of all you have to go to bin folder okay because uh, bin folder has all the uh, executable binary executables so what you have to do is you have to do Hadoop and then DFS and then you have to do LS to list out the files and folder which are present on the file system okay okay so here you have to give root file system because we, we never we don't know whether there are any files or folders or not so we'll just try to execute it okay so as we can see okay so we, it is just going to this okay so you can see uh, there are no such files on the folders okay I mean let me just try without any options here okay so yeah so it is not uh, okay it's not giving anything okay so it's just a warning message so there is no files or folders so let's just go ahead and uh, create a file or a folder first okay so Hadoop DFS so if you do Hadoop DFS and just press enter you will get a list of commands that you can do with uh, with Hadoop DFS okay so with Hadoop file system so with Hadoop file system you can do all these any of these commands so ls you can list out the files and folders you can create a directory okay you can you know copy a file from your system to file system uh, to file system okay you can change the mode uh, in short you can do almost do all the Linux commands that you do on your system and <coughs> with this Hadoop tool okay so let's, jo let's just go ahead and uh, Hadoop DFS and let's just create a directory. Let's just create a root directory first of all. Okay, yeah. So let me just see if it is uh, able to create. Now we will do the ls command. <coughs> yeah. So you can see we have created the root folder here but there are no files now because uh, okay there are no such files over here currently so we'll just uh, let's just copy any test file you know uh, from our local system to our Hadoop file system okay so what do we do is we do Hadoop minus Hadoop DFS minus CP okay and this we are gonna we're gonna go to home folder and I have a test file over here and I'll just place this file to in my root folder okay so yeah I'll just give it a name I'll just try to execute it so what we are going to do is we are copying the local file into our uh, <coughs> Hadoop file system okay so I'm getting some uh, error here so there are no such file in the local folder let me just check I, I think I had one file with this name okay so we have this file uh, 
no such file or directory okay is it because of the permission one second let me just make it 775 okay yeah okay so we'll just go as a root okay and we will give this file system file some extra permission okay yeah we go back to our uh, user shankar okay so now we go again <coughs> go, go to our hadoop folder bin binary folder and then we run this command again hadoop copy and then test file to our hadoop file system let me just see whether it is happening okay it's not working okay uh, let me just check what is the problem <coughs> Okay, so what I found is that uh, CP is mostly used to uh, copy a file from one HDFS folder to the next HDFS folder. So usually if you want to copy a file from local system to HDFS, you should use either put or copy from local. Okay, uh, so CP is not recommended for copying files from your local system to HDFS but, but still if you want to use a uh, copy uh, to co uh, CP command to uh, actually copy files from your system to uh, HDFS you have to specify file uh, uh, file parameter at the beginning because uh, by default CP assumes that it is uh, HDFS file system you know because CP is mostly uh, you know uh, recommended for file copying files from one HDFS to another HDFS. So we have to, uh, you know, specifically, uh, you know, uh, specify here that it is a file from your local system. So I'm just uh, uploading any 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 file. Okay. So let's just say let's say I want to upload pick one. Okay. To my to my root folder. Okay. Uh, so let's just try to do this yeah so this will uh, you know actually consider this as a local file and then it can be uh, you know uh, copied to your destination okay so let's just check whether it is copied or not so what you have to do is you have to uh, do minus d Hadoop dfs minus ls minus I have, I have given a capital r for recursively listing all the files okay so we'll just check whether our, our file is copied or not it is inside root okay so you can see in the root we have copied the file successfully okay so we will we'll try next items so mostly uh, if you want to copy a file from your local machine to uh, HDFS you should use put okay put and then take any uh, any file in your home folder or wherever you want to take the file from okay so let's say I have this four file uh, I'm just a demo file so and then you have to specify the destination right the root or wherever you want right so here you can specify uh, no name or you can specify your own name okay anything is okay so this is one way to upload the file to your SDFS okay yeah so another way to do this is to do using copy from local okay so I'm just giving the same file I'm copying I'm giving it a different name okay so that uh, it will also be copied otherwise it will be overwritten on the HDFS okay so let's just try to do a list yeah so what all things have been copied so far okay yeah so you can see in the root we have uh, four file for file two which is done using copy from local and then we also used the put command to copy the file so okay so we tried cp command put command and copy from local okay let's just try to download the file okay so we have any file in our browser so why don't we just have a look and check whether the file is actually present here or not 
so this is your uh, you, you just have to go on utilities and click on browse the file system and you just have to put the root file system over here so you can see here the file systems are created just click on go and you will find out the file C you can see this is a directory D and if you go inside root you will find that okay these many files have been copied so if you click on any file you know you can actually <coughs> download it and you can get other information like block pool ID block ID okay so one more interesting thing that I want to show you is that when you upload any file, it will be uh, uh, you know allocated uh, blocks. Okay, so that if the default replication is we have set it to one, so it will only bl one block will be created. If there are no default replication, we have set it to two. Two blocks will be created. So let's just go and check whether uh, where our file has been actually placed in the HDFS. Okay. Okay, so we go inside our our data node folder so here we go to data node if you go inside current okay uh, we go to see so this is a block pool ID if you go here in your system here also you can find out for example this file so you see this is a block pool ID which is matching with uh, your block pool ID here in the data node Okay, so we go inside that and then here you will be having uh, current then you will be having finalize you have to go inside that and here you will be having subdirectory go inside that and here you see again there is a subdirectory ls okay so it is a long hierarchy so you can see uh, we have block id so let's go and check so this is my file for file if you just click on this so you'll have a block id so 828 so you will be having 828 here so you will have star 828 so we have you can see this is a block which is created here and which is matching c size is 10 bytes okay so we, this is the actual file which is present here in the hdfs so only one block has been created for each file okay so for that particular file will also as we know that in the HDFS we store metadata as well so the same file will be having a metadata so this is the metadata for that particular file so just if you just open this so we will be able to know that this is the metadata you won't be able to understand what is that but that is the metadata for that particular file so every file will have a block ID and the number of blocks will be depending on the default replication that you have given okay so likewise so this is how we ex actually uh, saw how we upload the file let's just try and uh, you know we just try to okay yeah so we go and try to download some files okay let's just let's just download how to how do we download some files list. so for downloading the files you have to do Hadoop Hadoop and then uh, DFS and then get okay so get you have to give dash get and then what file you wanna get you can have to specify right so let's just say uh, I'm not sure let me just press enter and it will give you a help for that. Any, any command if you don't know how to execute it just uh, you have to specify you know press enter and without completing it so it will give you a usage of that okay uh, so get and then yeah, you need to you, know, you see the expected argument is one so you have to specify which file you want to download let's say I want to download root pick one okay so pick one dot jpg Okay, and if you do, if you, you have to specify here, if you don't specify, it will be downloaded at the same location. Let's just try. Okay, yeah. So let me just check if this is downloaded. So you can see this is the file which has been downloaded. So this is how you can. Uh, you, we just saw how we can, you know, uh, upload a file. We can download a file. 
so there are several other uh, things that you can do you can create a folder that we already saw you can you know uh, delete a file you can upload a file you can download a file you can rename a file using the mv command let's just try to do a cat on you know any of the file which is there okay so let's just uh, cat and then any file name let's say i upload it for file okay uh, dot txt let me just do a cat so you can do a cat also on the file which is present on the hdfs so you see this is the content of my file if you are actually it was copied from my local system so it's matching okay so this is how you can do these many commands so just guys uh, that's all in this tutorial uh, why don't you try all the options which is present with the file system and let me know uh, if you are facing any problem so these are the things that you can do okay yeah so that's all in this tutorial and if you face any difficulties let me know and uh, thanks for watching if you like it, please subscribe to my channel for more such tutorials.